Hi, I'm Stephanie, and welcome back to Building Your Path to Success. On this channel, I like to share a lot of information in short periods of time for both high school and college students so that they can build a meaningful, impactful resume, making them more competitive amongst their peers. If you like this type of information, please support the channel by giving me that thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. Today, I'm going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite programs for high school students. That's right. Today is for high school students. I'm going to be talking about the Science and Engineering Apprenticeship Program, also known as CAP. It's the Science and Engineering Apprenticeship Program, and boy, does it have a lot of opportunity wrapped up in this. We're going to review the program, who the program is for, when you should apply, and what is needed to apply. The information on where you can go to get this information or how to apply will be in the description below. Overview of this program. Well, this is a... This application is for summer of 2024, and it will open August 1st of 2023. So as you see, the early bird gets the worm. We're already out there applying for summer of 2024. This is an eight-week program with the Department of the Navy and allows students to do research and work and be mentored by scientists and engineers. Their laboratories around um, the United States and students must do the research to see which laboratory they will be applying to. Um, and as well as stipend is given. This is a commuting program. This is not a residential program. So this lab that you will be applying to is gonna be close to your home. Or if you have a relative that you have checked with and an aunt, an uncle, grandparent, you may be able to stay at their house and use a laboratory that's close to them. This program is to expose students, especially from underrepresented groups, to the vast opportunities in STEM, but specifically within the Department of the Navy. So a lot of times students don't know about certain careers, but this is a great hands-on way to learn. Stipend. Students will be paid a stipend. And please do not get caught up. Oh my goodness, this is an apprenticeship. I'm going to get a stipend. This is not a job. This is even better. Someone's gonna pay you to learn. Someone's going to pay you for hands-on experience. The laboratories within the Department of Navy are way more extensive than your laboratory at your local high school, regardless if you go to a public, private, charter school, which is public. These laboratories are on a totally different level. So you're gonna get paid to, um, Learn how to apply all the knowledge that you've been learning in school, that foundation, and how to implement it. New participants will get $4,000 for that eight weeks. That comes down to $500 a week before taxes. Returning participants will get $4,500, which comes down to $562.50 a week before taxes. Keep in mind that during the week, you will be working. This is not weekends. This is not night shift. This is going to be doing normal working hours Monday through Friday. The program is seeking interns who are truly, truly interested in STEM. This is not a camp. This is an apprenticeship. And you have to have demonstrated as part of the application process uh, academic achievement. There are several factors they consider, but academic achievement is a large factor. Who is this program for? This sounds like a great program, but is it for you? It is for sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are interested in STEM. Uh, you have to have completed at least the ninth grade and have an opportunity um, to conduct research, hands-on experiments. Students are selected based on their academic achievement, letters of recommendations, personal statements, as well as your career interests. I do want to just make a note. I have done a whole video about recommendations. Remember, teachers are not mandated to write letters of recommendations for you. And if they are, they're not mandated to write positive letters of recommendations. Teachers are going to think about, do you come to class every day? Do you come on time? Do you participate? Do you try? 
Do you just put your head down? You're going to look at all these things and determine, do I want to spend my weekend, my personal time to write a letter of recommendation for you? So this is why all what you do in the classroom extends outside the classroom. So if you are applying for this or any other program, you're going to have to go right back to those same teachers for these letters of recommendation. Let's move on. Students must check the lab age. So while there is a restriction um, of grades, each individual lab may want specific grades, meaning they may only want seniors. They may only want juniors and seniors. They may want you to be a specific age. Do you have to be 16? Do you have to be 17? And they can vary from lab to lab. So you're going to want to check that out. For the most part, students are to be United States citizens. In some cases, some labs will allow you to have dual citizenship, but students who are going to be interns for the Department of the Navy are going to have clearances. So they're not going to want you to be a, um, in information if you're not a U.S. citizen for the most part. So if you have dual citizenship, you're going to have to check because you may be excluded from some of the laboratories. Uh, the application period, I told you it does open August 1st, and it closes November 1st of 2023. Again, this is for the summer of 2024. What's needed to apply? Well, of course, it's going to be an application. There's going to be a personal statement. That means more than one. Letters of recommendation. And your transcript. They're saying official or unofficial. I have news for you. It's going to be unofficial because it's going to be coming from you, the student, which means it's going to be uh, uploaded from your computer, which automatically makes it unofficial. So, uh, and if you are accepted, then they make it an official one. Again, when you apply, you must pick the specific lab. And this is a, a commuting program. There's no housing. So that lab is going to be close to where you live. So you may have to use, if, it's, if you don't live near a laboratory, but your grandmother, your aunt, your godmother, whoever, you may want to talk to them, say, can I apply? And if I am uh, awarded this opportunity, can I stay with you for eight weeks? Because you have to put the lab. You can't change the lab later. Once it's on that application, that's it. All applicants, regardless if you're selected or not, will hear back between December of 2023 and March of 2024. Again, I always say apply for everything. And once you are accepted to different programs, you can make the determination that. Good luck to everyone. Please, if you're interested, share, um, apply. If not, share this information uh, so that other students who are from underrepresented communities can apply. Until next time, take care.